Moving on, we have a great blog post from Amro here. It says, software engineering isn't magic. And I have this conversation a lot when I'm teaching people how to code because oftentimes people that are just learning, you know, they may ask somebody more experienced or more senior than them uh, a question and the more experienced engineer comes back and just says, bam, here's the answer. Or at least they point you in the right direction, right? Because every problem, you know, is unique for the most part. And the, the junior person or, or the person just learning how to code like thinks it's like magic. Wow, this person's so smart. They, they know everything. They, I, I will never be that smart. And what they don't realize, and I say this all the time, is the reason that more experienced engineer knows that is because one, they've either done it a thousand times. It's something like a, a, a common table view issue or something, uh, or it is a relatively unique problem, but they've encountered a, that problem or a similar problem before and they bang their head against that problem for you know weeks, and then they finally solved it, right? And then now they know that, they're never gonna forget that. Uh, so that's why it seems like they know it, is because they've gone through the struggle, right? And then learned it. I'll give you a quick example of something I just did like two days ago. So I was having issues in my latest app with core data, drag and drop, and getting Swift UI updates to trigger, like that kind of like combination, kind of a, a you know niche problem to have. Well, I was banging my head against that problem for like two straight days. I was dejected, I hated life at the moment. <laughs> like, it, you know that feeling, right? Where you're just so frustrated, right? You're hitting that roadblock, banging your head against the wall. And then finally I got through it. And to be fair to myself, I'm, you know, I'm not a core data pro. I'm just kind of like really getting into the weeds of core data. But anyway, I finally like solved that problem. But because I went through that emotion of like banging my head against the wall, hating life, like being so dejected, and then I finally got through it. Now, if someone asked me a, a core data drag and drop type question and how to handle that, I'm gonna kind of know the answer or point them in the right direction really quickly. And that person's gonna think I'm a genius. And like, no, I'm not a genius. I couldn't figure the problem out for two straight days, you know? So that's why I know it. But that is why software engineering isn't magic. 99% of the time, if a more experienced engineer knows an answer quickly to a, what is seemingly tough problem, they've either done it a thousand times or they've gone through the struggle to learn it. And, and going through that struggle is really how we learn. And I, I say this all the time, learn to embrace that struggle. Cause again, that's where the, if there's any magic, right? The, the magic of learning happens in that struggle. But yeah, software engineering isn't magic. We've just all gone through hell to get here. <laughs> This was a clip from an iOS development news show that I put out on a monthly basis. If you like this sort of stuff and you wanna see the complete show, check out my channel. I got a whole playlist of them. And if you wanna check out Swift News as it's released, I put it out at the beginning of every month. See you in the next one.